What's up guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about men's fashion and vintage fashion So today I wanted to do an out of style video that I didn't do for a long and a long time I was scrolling through YouTube because I was bored and I saw that all the videos about how to style a beret hat was all from women's fashion so I was thinking about doing one how to style video but for men's fashion so today we're going to talk about how to style a beret hat A beret is a soft round flat crowned hat, usually of woven, hand knitted wool, crochet cotton, wool felt or acrylic fiber. Mass production began in 19th century in France and Spain, countries which it remains associated. Beret practicality has long made it into the item of military, police and other uniform clothing. The beret is a part of the long-standing stereotype of the intellectual film director, artist, hipster, poet, bohemian and beatnik. The painter Rembrandt and the co composer Richard Wagner, among others, wore beret. In the United States and Britain, the middle of the 20th century saw an explosion of beret in women's fashion. In the, la in the latter part of the 20th century, the beret was adopted by the Chinese both as a fashion statement and for its political undertones. Beret were always worn by bebop and jazz musicians like Dizzy Gillespie, Jen Cooper, Wardell Gray, and Telonius Monk. Kangol is an English clothing company famous for its headwear. The name Kangol reflects the original production where the K was for knitting, the Ang was for Angora, and the O was for wool. Although no Kangol hat has ever actually been manufactured in Australia, the kangaroo logo was adopted by Kangol in 1983 because Americans commonly ask where they could get the kangaroo hat. Founded in the 1920s by Jewish Polish World War I veteran Jacques Sprengregen, Kangol produced ads for workers, golfers, and especially soldiers. In 1938, Sprengen, who was working in London as an importer, opened a factory at Clitor, Cumbria, England, which he ran with his nephew Joseph Meisner. The second factory was opened at nearby Fringsington and later under the direction of Springsen younger nephew Sylvain Meisner, a third factory was opened manufacturing motorcycle helmets and seal belts in Carlisle. They were the major beret suppliers to the armed forces during the World War II. In the 1960s, designers Mary Quant and Pierre Cardin worked with the company, whose products graced the heads of the rich and famous, including the Beatles and Arnold Palmer, and later Diana, Princess of Wales. The company also supplied uniformed organizations such as the Scout Association. In the 1980s, Kangol Beret entered a new phase of fashion history with their, with their adoption by members of the pop community, such as Grandmaster Flash, Run DMC, LL Cool J, Slick Rick, Kangol Kid of UTFO, and the Notorious B.I.G. The brand was popularized even more by the 1991 movie New Jack City. The release of more consciously stylish products in the 1990s such as the Forgora Angora Wall Mix Spitfire was held by its presence upon the head of Samuel L. Jackson in 1997. So now that we know a little bit about the history of a beret hat, I want to talk about my beret hat that I have now. I saw it from my dad, it's from Kangol. And I don't know why, but lately, like I think in the last one or two months, I am obsessed with this hat. Like I'm trying to style style it with different outfits. So I did three outfits for this video, mainly around the 80s and 90s decade, because I don't know why, but I was obsessed with it. So I tried to do three outfits around these eras, and I will show you now. 
So this is a 90s inspired fit. I'm wearing my vintage thrifted color blocking shirt with my beret hat from Kangol. I'm wearing also my Ray-Ban sunglasses with it and a belt with my white jeans trousers. And also with these white trousers I'm wearing my combat boots as usual because they go well with those type of trousers. So this is more an intellectual fit. I'm wearing my flannel shirt with my brown vest and my Kangol uh, brown beret and also my glasses because yes I wear glasses if not I don't see <laughs> and uh, yes I'm wearing my white trousers as usual like in the fit before and yes even this time I'm wearing my combat boots yes like in the first fit And this is more 80s inspired because of the blazer that has these white shoulders. So I'm wearing my brown and black blazer with a teal color shirt, a kang my kangle brown beret, uh, my glasses, yes. And uh, also I'm wearing my checked belt as you can see. And I'm wearing my black trousers with my new shoes that I've bought in London for six pounds, guys. Like six pounds at pound length. I was like, what the hell? So I was really happy about this purchase. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you will know when I put my next video and thank you for the support that you're giving me because I don't know why but yesterday I was feeling so down, I don't know like in this last month I felt stuck with numbers and views like usually it doesn't matter to me but I saw like other people that I admire and etc are going so much and uh, I don't know yesterday I was feeling so down but today I'm feeling okay and I want to do more videos so this week it will be full of videos guys and uh, nothing I will see you soon